Hello, friends. It's Miss Julie from Miss Julie's Virtual Preschool and Crafts. Oh, and who am I dressed up like today? Do you know? Yes, the cat in the hat. And so this week coming up is Dr. Seuss's birthday. And Dr. Seuss is the author of the book, The Cat in the Hat. So I thought I'd dress like the cat today and I'd read you a story. I hope you enjoy. I'm reading The Cat and the Hat. The sun did not shine. It was too wet to play. So we sat in the house all that cold, cold, wet day. I sat there with Sally. We sat there, we too. And I said, how I wish we had something to do. Too wet to go out and too cold to play ball. We sat in the house. We did nothing at all. So all we could do was sit, 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 sit. And we did not like it, not one little bit. And then there was something that went bump. How that bump made us jump. We looked and we saw him step on the mat. We looked and we saw the cat in the hat. And he said to us, why do you sit there like that? I know it's wet and the sun is not sunny, but we can have lots of good fun that is funny. And I know some good games we could play, said the cat. I know some new tricks, said the cat in the hat. A lot of good tricks. I will show them to you. Your mother will not mind at all if I do. Then Sally and I did not know what to say. Our mother was out of the house for the day. But our mother said, no, no, make that cat go away. Tell the cat in the hat, you do not want to play. He should not be here. He should not be about. He should not be here when your mother is out. Now, now, have no fear. Have no fear, said the cat. My tricks are not bad, said the cat in the hat. Why, we can have lots of good fun if you wish with a game what I call up, up with the fish. Put me down, said the fish. This is no fun at all. Put me down, said the fish. I do not wish to fall. Have no fear, said the cat. I will not let you fall. I will hold you up high as I stand on a ball with a book in one hand and a cup in my hat. But that's not all I can do, said the cat. Look at me, look at me now, said the cat with a cup and a cake on the top of my hat. I can hold up two books, I can hold up the fish, and a little toy ship and some milk on a dish. And look, I can hop up and down on the ball, but that is not all. Oh no, that is not all. Look what he's doing. Look at me, look at me, look at me now. It is fun to have fun, but you have to know how. I can hold up the cup and the milk and the cake. I can hold up these books and the fish on a rake. I can hold up the toy ship and the little toy man. And look with my tail, I can hold the red fan. I can fan with the fan as I hop in the ball, but that is not all. Oh, that is not all. And that is what the cat said, and he fell to his head, and he came down with a bump from up there on the ball, and Sally and I, we saw all the things fall. And our fish came down too, he fell in a pot and said, I do not like this, oh I know I do not. This is not good game, said the, our fish as he lit. No, I do not like it. Not one little bit. Now look what you did, said the fish to the cat. Now look at this house. Look at this. Look at that. You sank our toy ship. You sank it deep in the cake. You should 
shook up our house and you bent our new rake. You should not be here when our mother is not. You get out of this house, said the fish in the pot. But I like to be here. Oh, I like it a lot, said the cat in the hat to the fish in the pot. I will not go away. I do not wish to go. And so the cat said, so, 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 I will show you another good game that I know. And then he ran out, and then he passed as a fox. The cat came in with a big box. A big red wooden box was shut with a hook. Now look at this trick, said the cat. Take a look. Then he got up on top with the tip of his hat. I call this game fun in a box, said the cat. In this box are two things I will show you now. You will like these two things, said the cat with a bow. I will pick up the hook, you will see something new, two things, and I call them thing one and thing two. These things will not bite you, they want to have fun. And out of the box came thing two and thing one. And they ran to us fast and they said, how you do? Would you like to shake hands with thing one and thing two? And Sally and I did not know what to do, so we sh had to shake hands with thing one and thing two. We shook their two hands, but first I said, fish said, no, no, those things should not be in this house. Make them go. They should not be here when your mother is not. Put them out, put them out, said the fish in the pot. Have no fear, little fish, said the cat in the hat. These things are good things. He gave them a pat. They are tame, oh so tame. They have come here to play. They will give you some fun on this wet, wet, wet day. Now here is a game that they like, said the cat. They like to fly kites, said the cat in the hat. No, not in the house of the fish in the pot. They should not fly kites in the house. They should not. Oh, the things they will bump, the things they will hit. I do not like this, not one little bit. Then Sally and I, some of them run down the hall. We saw those two things bump their kites on the wall. Bump, 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 down the wall in the hall. Thing two and thing one, they ran up, they ran down on the string of one kite. We saw mother's new gown, her gown with the dots, the pink, white, and red. Then we saw one kite bump into the head of her bed. Then those things ran about with big bumps and jumps and kicks, with hops and big thumps and all kinds of bad tricks. And I said, I do not like the way that they play. If our mother could see this, oh, what would she say? Then our fish said, look, look, our fish shook with fear. Your mother is on her way home. Do you hear? Well, what will she do to us? What will she say? Oh, she will not like to find us this way. Do something fast, said the fish. Do you hear? I saw her. Your mother, your mother is near. So fast as you can think of something to do, you will have to get rid of thing one and thing two. So fast as I could, I went after my net, and I said, with my net, I can get them, I bet, I bet with my net, I can get those things yet. Then I let down my net, and it came with a plop, and I had them at last, those two things had to, to stop. And then I said to the cat, now you must do as I say, pack up those things, and you take them away. Oh dear, said the cat, you do not like our game? Oh dear, what a shame, what a shame, what a shame. Then he shut up the things in the box with the hook, and the cat went away with a big, sad kind of look. That is, is good, said the fish. He has gone away, yes, but your mother will come home, and she will find this big mess. 
And this mess is so big and so deep and so tall, we cannot pick it up. There is no way at all. And then, who was back in the house? Why, the cat. Have no fear of this mess, said the cat in the hat. I always pick up all my playthings, and so I will show you another good trick that I know. Then we saw him pick up all the things that were down. He picked up the cake and the rake and the gown, the milk and the strings and the books and the dish, and a fan and the cup and the ship and the fish. And he put them away and said, that is that. And then he was gone with the tip of his hat. And then their mother came in and she said to us two, did you have any fun? Tell me, what did you do? And Sally and I did not know what to say. Should we tell her the things that went on here today? Should we tell her about it? Now, what should we do? Well, what would you do if your mother asked you? All right, well, that was the cat in the hat that came to visit the two kids. What would you do? Would you like if the cat came to visit you? Would you tell your mother? All right, well, if you enjoyed that story, come back next time to Miss Julie's Virtual Preschool and Crafts. Bye, friends.